the first kindergarten class in Halaula. And, and it was at the old theater down camp, this old building that had a stage, and our kindergarten class was there. And I recall very vividly, one of the favorite times in the morning was when Ishimini Dairy came and brought a carton of milk. And we had a jigger, I guess a pint, half a, I don't know. And everybody had this glass bottle. And that teacher was Olivia Kahn. And she would give us graham crackers. And we had graham crackers and milk. That was wonderful. And then we went to Hololo School. And that's first, second grade was during the war. And, and that's where I learned to read. And I could, I could follow the war. And I stayed in Hololo School all the way to the seventh grade. But we were the same 22, maybe 22 to 20. And I, I, I can remember all of them. And we were, we were a mixed breed. You know, there was Portuguese, there was Carmen Torres, David Botello, Helen Torres. Um, Billy Thomas was part Portuguese. Then we had a lot of Filipinos, Pedro Esaret, Conrado Trinidad, myself, and um, um, who else now? And then there was, you know, Japanese, Minishigeta, Suruko Nakamoto, Shigeo Shimabukuro, Iwao Shimakuso, Thomas Arakaki. Uh, and, and, and Shigeo came all the way from New York. He was there. And they were, he came from New York, Shigeo Shimabukuro. And he was my classmate. And um, so we knew each other intimately, very intimately. And it was a joy to go to school because we were, we were such close friends. And we, you know, there were no janitors that cleaned the room. And every, every after school, we cleaned our own rooms. I remember the erasers going outside taking the dust off the erasers, cleaning the chalkboard, sweeping and mopping. I mean, it was all routine. It was just, and uh, there was only one cafeteria manager who cooked all the food for us. But every, every class sent two students from the fifth grade. So she had about 10 kids to help her in the cafeteria. And, and we, we did the cleaning, the chopping, the helping her prepare the food and served it and cleaned it. And it, it was natural. I mean, we, we never had any, nobody talked about it, that, that we were doing janitorial work, that we were doing food service work. It was part of the discipline. And, and we kind of enjoyed keeping our school clean. In fact, when, the, when there was too many weeds, we would actually be told to come to school with, with weeders, pocket knife, we could bring, and weed. And we kept all along clear of you know, weeds. We did the work in the cafeteria, and we did the work in the classrooms. And our school was always neat, clean. The other thing I remember going to school was now in, in retrospect was the intense Americanism that was indoctrinated in us. Also, for example, every morning, every morning, every class went out to the flagpole in front of the school. The flagpole is still there. Halola School, is that same building is still there. And <clears throat> raise the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of America and the nation for which it stands. One nation indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I still remember the damn thing. Said it every morning for seven years, every morning. I never sang Hawaii Ponui. And it was a joy for me to sing Hawaii Ponui 
at the Veterans Cemetery. I sang it loud and clear. Because we, nobody thought of singing Hawaii Pony. Nobody thought of Hawaiian songs. In music, we're singing Stephen Foster's songs. Whenever we had, I never learned Hawaiian song at all. It was, the sun shines bright on my old Kentucky home. This summer, the darkies are gray. That we, that, that's the kind of songs we learned. We, we never learned Hawaiian songs. We're pledging allegiance. Oh, Columbia, the gem of the ocean, the land of the free. That's what we learned. And so we did not learn to be Hawaiian. We did not learn any Hawaiian history at all. And um, we knew nothing about the overthrow. And whoever was in charge of the curriculum at Hawaii deliberately kept all of it out of us. We had, we weren't t told the truth. And we were deliberately meant not to learn the truth. Well, as you know, that's all gone. Mm -hmm.